Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Roger Eastlick with businesswebsiteceo.com. This is a little bit of a special video. It could stand alone, but it's also part of the series in how to configure the Parallax Pro theme for the Genesis Child theme. In this video, I want to quickly show you how you can safely customize a child, Genesis Child theme. And this is that this is valid for all Genesis Child themes, really. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into our domain. So what we want to do is log into our cPanel. In most cPanel installations like HostGator, which is what I use, or um, other ones, then you should be able to just type in your domain name. And then after the domain name, put a forward slash and type in cPanel and press enter or return. Okay, and you're going to get prompted for your credentials. Those would be your credentials that you should have in an email from for uh, cPanel from your host. You'll come onto a page that looks something like this. This is uh, cPanel. You want to scroll down to where it says File Manager. Okay, and then click on Go. And just make sure that if you have multiple installations, if you only have one installation, you should be right in the right directory. If not, just make sure you're in the directory where you've installed your program or your WordPress. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to see a WP content folder. You're going to double click on that. You're going to see a themes folder. Double click on the themes folder. And then in our case, we're working with the Parallax Pro theme. Whatever theme you're working with, double click on that. Down at the bottom, you're going to see a style.css file. Okay, this is the right folder to be in. Now up over here on the left-hand side, you see there is an icon for a new file. Click on that. Type in the box custom, C-U-S-T-O-M dot C-S-S, and click on create new file. Okay, and then you should see a custom.css file in the same folder as your style.css. All right. Once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go back to your um, we're going to want to go back to our installation, existing installation, which is here. Okay. What you can do is right click anywhere and click on inspect. I'm sorry. Right click and click on view page source. Okay. And then you should see if you you should see that you'll see a style sheet here. And then you'll see, for example, here we've got the Parallax Pro theme CSS. And this you got an H reference and it starts with the HTTP. You want to grab all that over to where it says CSS, basically. Forget about anything past that. Right click and copy. Okay, once you right click and copy there, then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to, um, you can just open up Notepad, for example. And you, you can copy and paste. You can paste this in here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename this. Instead of saying style CSS, it is going to be called custom CSS because that's what you named the other file. Okay, and just hang on to that thought for a second. Now what we need to do is in Genesis, we're going to go over here to Genesis, the theme settings. Click on theme settings. We're going to scroll down to, remember we talked about that they have a section down here called header and footer scripts. We want to go into the first box, which is right under WP underscore dash, under WP underscore head. Okay, and what you want to do there is you want to type in, uh, is it a less than sign, and then link, space, R-E-L, equals, single quote, style sheet, single quote, type equals single quote text forge slash CSS single quote 
href or href equals single quote and now what we want to do is get that box we had a second ago our notepad grab this whole thing highlight it in other words right click and copy and now we're going to put our place our cursor left click right to the right of that uh, single quote and right click and then click on paste okay and then at right after that after the last s of css you want to hit another single quote space type media equals double quote the word all a l l double quote space forward slash greater than sign okay and now we're going to click on save settings and at this point if we go back to our our, our website if we refresh the page if we right click and click on a view page source now what we should have we go down to the style sheet section we should see let's see here if I did this correctly oh it's way down here okay well it's way down here it's ways farther down but here it says link style sheet href is our custom CSS file okay so it's there now we want to go back to our get rid of that we want to go back to our our back end of the website again okay that's this where the menus are we want to go to appearance and then down to editor and now if you see we should have should have a custom dot CSS sheet one moment okay make sure you're looking at the right domain that was my problem I was in a different domain okay so if you go in here and you go into appearance and you go down under editor under the parallax pro theme or whatever theme that you've got installed and you've just performed this on then you're gonna see style sheet style.css and then underneath it you now you're gonna see the custom .css file so what you can do is I mean once you get that this is gonna be a blank file if you click on the custom CSS it's absolutely blank now what you might want to do is go back to the style sheet style CSS and you can just grab some of this info right here between the uh, forward slash and the asterisk and the forward slash and the, a and the asterisk and the forward slash right here and you can just grab this and copy it right click copy it go back and click on the custom CSS and you can cut and paste this in you don't have to do this but you can theme name is parallax pro and you can just say that um, I don't think you really need all this stuff in here but you can just say that you know this is theme name and you can put down here at the bottom that this is custom CSS if you want to for example and then you go down here and you click on update the file okay and right now it's not going to do anything to it but in a minute we're going to start putting stuff in here and so that's why you need that custom file so anything that happens to this though fortunately will overwrite the um, the other CSS the the style sheet CSS and allow us to allow us to make changes without actually messing up the original style sheet that's kind of what it's all about so this is Roger Eastlick with W uh, with business website CEO.com thanks for watching have a great day if you found this video useful please like subscribe and share this video with your friends on Facebook Twitter and other social media thanks